Hello there, my parents and thrifty designers. Once again, thank you for visiting my channel and watching my video. In today's video, I will show you how you can get this look by easily installing an adhesive LED light strip underneath your kitchen cabinets. So, stay tuned and let's get started. The first item here is the adhesive LED strip which comes neatly packaged on a rail and is very well put together. The second item is the USB cable the LED strip plugs into as well as a remote which batteries are included. One thing not included is an adapter to allow you to plug it into the wall. So if you do want to achieve this look, you would need it to be plugged in and you would need an adapter. Otherwise, you can use it as a USB plug-in. The adapter that I have used for my setup is just a standard Samsung cell phone charger, which is a 5 volt. You do want to make sure you read the instructions and follow the directions. As you can see, the prongs to plug the strip in are really delicate, so you really want to make sure to not bend them. So in case if you are interested, this is the packaging for the LED light strip. I purchased them from my local Walmart for $5. The instructions as you can see are really clear and thorough so there is no confusion on how to set them up. Another neat way to place them is on the back of your TV. Uh, my husband and I, we applied a strip to our TV. It not only looks nice, but it's very pleasant to the eye when watching TV in a dark room. So if you're interested in this, I highly suggest you try it, check it out. Great product. So this is how I have this side set up. As you can see, I do have my Samsung adapter plugged in and I was able to find a way to connect this LED light strip without using any nails or hooks. If you need to, you can always use command strips, but in my case, I just ran the lights along the bottom part of the cabinet and I just followed the shape of the cabinet. I did want to mention, however, because you cannot cut them and the LED strip, it's not so easy to bend. You want to make sure you find a flat surface that you can apply them to. But this is how it looks. You don't even see the strip. It just gives a nice glow under the cabinet. So as you can see here, this is that other counter space that I applied the LED light strips to. And I am also using another 5 volt Samsung cell phone charger. I was also able to find a way to hide that cable so you don't see that. Um, I do want to mention, however, as you see here, the way the LED strips go along the cabinet it's very important that you find a surface that you can apply them to like that i tried to lay it down on the bottom of the cabinet but because it doesn't bend or fold in any other direction that you see here it was kind of hard to get it that way and it wasn't going to stay but it looks good and as i pan out you don't see that light so i'm pleased with the way that it looks it's a nice and great addition to the kitchen This here is the remote for your LED light strip. As you can see, it's easy to use and easy to read. It has your on, your off. It has your speed buttons, your flash buttons, your dimmer buttons. It has cool, day, soft, and warm tones. And the two arrows on the left, those are for how bright you want your light to be. Right here, I am just demonstrating your two tones, your cool and your warm tones. I tend to like the warm tones, so that's usually what I leave it on, but you do have a, a choice and an option to choose from. They're both nice and they do light up really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You like that, don't you? Well, right there, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a idea of what it would look like if you did want to have a smashing party and have the lights on in the background. Um, and you have this strobe light um, effect on it, which is pretty cool. Um, I know it can be uh, harsh to some and some people can be very sensitive to it. So uh, again, I just wanted to give you an idea on what it looks like. Another great um, tip, of course I don't leave it flashing, but you can also use it as like a night light in your kitchen to kind of light the way for the little ones. It's really nice. So again, here's that strobe light effect that I was telling you, you can actually have it going all crazy. Um, again, this is of course if you're having a get together or a really heavy party and it's a nice accent to your party uh, that you got going on. Other than that, you really don't leave it on that setting in your kitchen, at least I hope you don't. But it's a really nice idea to add to your kitchen. I absolutely love it. Um, as you can see, I, I got a little close there and that is what it looks like. And it's amazing because even though it's flashing that way, you really don't know what is underneath the cabinet unless you're looking under the cabinet. So this is my speed here. This is what I leave it on anytime that I use my light strip. Um, I don't have it going all crazy like that. And this shot here, this is later that day in the night. And like I mentioned to you earlier, it makes a great night light that just lights up the whole room. And it is cost efficient. It's an LED light strip. You don't have to worry about it being on, getting hot or warming up or your kids touching it or anything like that. And honestly, it doesn't even look like it's an adhesive LED light strip under the cabinet. I did want to pan out to kind of give you an idea of how much it lights up the room, but it would have just been a view of a black screen so that's why I just shot this shot but trust me it's enough light to stand in the room and see where you're walking I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please guys like subscribe and comment down below thank you